happy to be here with you one more time it's a beautiful day and i'm super excited to be doing this video listen to me guys if this is not going to be the best video you see on the internet today i don't know what else is going to be now if you see not is it going to be just the best video today the best video in your entire life the best video you've seen since you've known my channel but if you're new to my channel yeah you're welcome my name is love mko for winning center sports betting if you take a look at the duration of this video it's quite lengthy because of the amount of resources this video is going to cover i'll try my best to break it down into different chapters but trust me this video is going to encompass a lot a lot of things and for example i'm going to take a scroll around this is number one number two i have football corners tipsters evaluation lower lines let me go back to the introduction what i'm trying to say is this every single topic highlighted on this video i'm going to go in and show you the best possible way to get resources from it i'm not talking about a vague or a huge analysis i'm talking about what has actually worked for me over time while i'm playing sports betting i'm going to give you all these resources i want you to use this video to be a stepping stone to greater things for yourself so as you can see this is number one and this is the introduction i don't know if i've done a lot enough justice to the introduction of this video but if i haven't please bear with me because i am super excited i don't even know how else to start giving you the resources inbound on this video i just want us to get started immediately so first off we're going to get started with the first one right here which says football corners how you're going to get your football corners you can see um well since you can see some of the other options here just a minute since you can see some of the other options here like tipsters evaluation basketball overs and under football overs and unders all right i'm going to anticipate the fact that you're going to want to stick around and see out all the other options as you can see you have even more let me just scroll back up even more options basketball and the cap and sofa score versus life score and all the rest of them now we're not going to waste any other time we're just going to go in straight into football corners first off how are we going to predict football corners how do we make money from football corners guys let's just get started all right first off we're going to start with the football corners what we're simply going to do now is go through the resources that we can use to get out how to get our tips for football corners so first off let me just come over here i want to show you this one this one is what at least it's free okay the one that is not free is this one right here the fully starts dot org all right you know the website already so you just um if you're on the premium version of this website you're going to get access to the corner stats right here and also the corner predictions on the website too corner stats yes a little bit more resources are available here so you want to take your time to study the website before you Want to go ahead and pay for premium it has a lot of resources but if you don't have the money to pay for that which I actually recommend you come let me just kill that one i actually recommend you come over here to this app this is called bed minds so if you know i do a lot of reference to this app on my channel so this is bed minds just come over here and click on view more on the particular game i'm going to show you how to select the whole process thing then you want to come over here to statistics and you want to scroll, scroll all the way down to get to corners. Let me just okay right here, corners, average as clean sheets. That's uh, average corners, all right? So, average corners and total corners. Let me just click that. So as we can see right here, it says the home team has forty percent and the away team has fifty percent for corners of nine point five for the unders actually. So for the unders, the home team have gone forty percent of their games playing under 9.5 corners it's not just them alone I and mean, that's matches they've played all right so uh, the away team has had 50 percent of their games going over 9.5 or rather going under 9.5 don't get it twisted okay so if they've gone 50 percent like that is half of the games have gone um over or rather under 9.5 it means that the other half has gone over 9.5 you understand while the home team has 40 percent which is slightly less than the one they have for overs which is 60 percent have gone over so it's slightly in favor of over 9.5 in this case because you can see this is 110 percent going for over 
and this is 90% going for under. Now, if we check the 10.5, let me just kill that. Let's take it again. If you check the one for 10.5, we have the home team still 40% going under, while the away team still 60% going under, just the same um, uh, averages for both 9.5 and 10.5. So what this simply means is, their games most times shift towards the overs than the unders for corners. So if we want to pick our game on this very one, we want to go over corners. But which overs are we going to take? Are we going to take over um, uh, uh, 10.5 or 9.5 or less? I would suggest we go for less. So what we want to do is make sure that the odds that they are offering us is good. So let me just scroll over to I've already opened the corner games for this very game. As you can see right here, this game. That's the very game that we're just checking. I had to do all that down because of the length of the video. All right, so I went over to the corners and I, I saw for 9.5 we had 1.7 and for 10.5 we had 2.15. So what's it going to be? Are we going to go for 9.5 or 9? As you can see for 9 here, we have 1.49 and for 8.5 we have 1.4. Here, I don't know, 8.5. Mm, okay, let me just quickly explain to you the difference between 8.5 and 9. 8.5 is the same thing as 9, basically. All right, so for example, the game ends in exactly 9 corners. If you played 8.5, you won the game. But if you played 9, you didn't win, you didn't lose. They're just going to refund the bets back to you, just in case you were wondering what happens when it's actually 9. Yeah, that's what happens. So if you play 8, you already get the point. So that's just the way it is. This is actually, um, is that the Asian thing? No, that's not the Asian thing. But basically, that's how it works. So if you place nine, they just return back your money. And if you place eight point five, if you place nine and you played eight point five, they give you the game as one. That is that for corners. Just for a quick recap, we're done with corners. Just for a quick recap, you just want to go over here. Let me just quickly show you how to do that. Find yourself here in the leagues. So um, let me just go back. Let me just go back. This is the home page for Betmines. You want to come over here, click on leagues right here. Let me just shift mine. So you want to come over here and click on leagues. Once you click on leagues, you want to go over to the particular league. You scroll and look for the league. In this case, we're in um, Austria Bundesliga. So came to Austria Bundesliga and then we click on this very game called tomorrow. Once we click on it, you want to make sure you come over here and click on view more. So once you do that, uh, you already know you have to go over to the statistics session and boom, you're in corners. All right, so thank you. Thank you. Let's just continue. Let's go over here and then pick on the next one. We have tipsters evaluation lower lines. All right, let's just dig on that one next. Next one. This next one is very interesting. I like this one more than any other one. It depends solely on the kind of tipsters that you follow. Yes, we're on the tipsters evaluation lower lines, all right? So it depends on the kind of tipster you follow and how you trust your tipster. So if you trust your tipster like I do to mine, then you have no problem at all. What you do, you let this, your tipster or your favorite punter do their, usual, your, their regular games for the people. They drop the code on Twitter or wherever it is, maybe Telegram. And you go ahead and pick this code. So we're just going to do a practical example right now. Let's just come over here. Yeah, then we just keep scrolling. All right. So I took our time to go on Twitter and get one of my favorite punters game. My phone is super overloaded because the RAM is so low and I'm recording my screen at the same time. So it's really, really overloaded. And I don't know. So let's just go ahead. So I see right here, the name of my tipster here is, you know, now one of the most popular right there on Twitter mayor of akt so he dropped the game not too long ago as you can see right here there's the game so what we want to do is go ahead and copy the code and load up the game it's actually a 200 odd game he got from maybe one of his students or something or one of his fans who dropped i don't know that's not what we're doing so we want to go ahead and check on the games and pick some of some let's just load it up i don't know let's load it up and right, let's just come over here okay and then what we want to do is load that up. I want to do accept changes. This is actually the game, okay? But I'm just going to delete everything. Okay, thank you so much for your kindness. 
I don't know why I must have clicked on all right go ahead and click on remove everything and I'm going to reload the game back up all right uh great so I'm gonna go over to my notepad or to my clipboard and load the game okay that that's it that's it as a game so it's, it's actually the 200 odd game all right so that's the game akt posted and then we're going to go ahead and select a game just to show you an instance so i'm going to select a game and show you how to go lower lines like we said earlier on the industry i think i think i'm kind of dizzy right now so it's not very easy i'm going to try and finish this up so i can continue the rest of the options tomorrow okay so what we have here is louisiana and um south miss golden eagles for u.s women regular season ncca the women all right and the tip right here is under under one 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 seven okay so the tip is under one one seven going by this so one do is just come over to one expect all right i'm coming over to one expect i don't know if you're getting the idea now so the tips just give you a lines on spotty on spotty bet some of these tips as they win money with these lines or spotty bet but you come over to one expect all right so this is the same game right here this is the same game i want you to take note for the women ncca all right so this is the same game you want to come over and it says you, you're going to bet on 117.5 under all right so this under 117.5 and the odds are even bigger here so 1.19 all right so what you want to do come over you want to drop the lines a little bit to your satisfaction because why we didn't do that on spotty bed spotty bed don't even keep lower lines so you get the idea now you come over to one expect pick lower lines so that you you have a safety a safety margin all right so those one points two points are not going to actually be a problem right now so as you can see right here we have 117 118 119 120 120 1, 122 123 124 125 126 127 just keeps going to 130. you can see how much lines are even added to the initial tip that was dropped so it's now left for you to go ahead and select the lower line that is going to be possibly give you a win you understand the trick it's a very simple one you can do every single time for you to make your games easy now there's another trick i always recommend that you don't play all the games your tipsters tip all right for example we have 200 odds here what we can simply do is select like about about maybe this a total of 10 games you can pick just five so we can just randomly pick five let me just kill this kill this one kill this one let me kill this one let me kill this one so we have five now we can select five from here these five that we selected have 17.3 odds all right so if our target was to look for five ten, ten odds all right we can just go ahead select seven, this 17.3 odds go ahead to one expert drop the lines make them a bit lower and then we we'll go ahead and discover that we already have our 10 odds you understand so in this very case we already have a lower lines right here so we have lower lines right here at 1.3 so what you simply do is come over to some other lines that are much more reasonable something in this region right here let me just see if i can get my brush to do that for me something in this region right here so you can select any of these lines okay maybe under one two five under one two four or under one two three depends on what you want but make sure that you select lower lines from what your tips are actually tipped that way you're having a better chance of winning just in case you can as well play the one your tips are dropped and then play this one for backup or bigger stake if you want now let's head over i hope that this is very very clear and easy and good so if you're actually enjoying the video up to this time don't forget to give me a like subscribe and give me a comment and tell me what you feel thank you thank you thank you let's just go what's the next what's the next what's next what's next all right basketball overs and unders let's just get on this one immediately all right guys we are here on number four right now um i must tell you i'm doing this video um separately i'm looking for the word to use like continuously from time to time i'm not doing everything at the same time because of the amount of things i have to chuck out of my head 
at this at a single blow it's really not going to be possible for me to do everything at the same time so i need you to understand maybe there's a voice change or there's anything like i don't know maybe the frequency changes okay so talking about that we are now basketball overs and unders all right so if you actually want to play more on basketball some of you prefer to play football more than basketball i really don't know why i i think i did a video to explain the reason why i prefer you play basketball more than football because the odds that are given for football are really really not very reflective of the possibility of outcomes in football except special options like corners and throw-ins and the rest of them so that's why i always prefer you play basketball where you have so many lines you have so many good odds and so many good possibility of an outcome to come unless of course your bookmakers may limit what you have that being said let's just go into basketball's overs and unders now for basketball's overs and unders i want you to understand it includes first half second half anything that has to do with overs and unders not handicap or straight wins we're just talking about overs and unders so i took time out to select this game all right uh, not necessarily i selected it i just had to I was just going through it before I, I started my screen recorder, so I ha I didn't have to make the video very long, okay? So I went through the game, and what I just want to show you, I have already done that in one of my videos when I discussed a hack for football and basketball. I think basketball's own is the main hack here, and I'm going to quickly make reference to it because that's what we're going to use right here for us to know what we should play on overs and unders. Now, talking about that, as you can see right here, how many goals with each team score? all right so as we can see here the smallest they are suggesting is 10.5 you understand that the minimum goals each of them should score is 10.5 and we are assuming the weaker team should at least score 10.5 points already basically just say score 11 points all right so we're not going to be calling the 0.5 it's not easy for me to always make the 0.5 thing so we assume that the weakest team is going to score 10 points or 11 points at least all right so that in mind we should now consider how many points the stronger team or the favorite team going to score so for you to know the favorite team you don't need to go to your statistics first you can simply come over and scroll up and see which team let me just show that to you which team is actually the favorite team all right as you can see here the away team is a favorite team. So we expect that the home team should score at least 11 points in the first quarter. Don't forget the first quarter. So bearing that in mind, we just quickly take 11 points, all right, and multiply it by 2. That's going to give us 22. But we know we're not going 11 points, 10.5. So we say 10.5 times 2. That's going to give us 21. Okay, so we have 21 points coming out, assuming both of them score 11 11.5 11 or rather 10.5 you understand the whole idea we're trying to get so we have 21 points from both of them as minimum bearers in the first quarter and we'll go ahead and say 21 points we'll go ahead and for the total for first quarter that we are given right here on the app or rather on the bookmakers we'll go ahead and pick the 30.5 minus 21 okay so we'll go ahead let's just move over to our calculator i have it open right here we have 21.5 or rather 21 plus pardon me 30.5 minus 21 so we have 9.5 what this 9.5 means is the two combination the smallest two combination assuming the both of them score 10.5 points or 11 points each the balance like what the bookmaker is expecting us to, to play as a minimum total is 30 so the 9.5 which is not part of that smallest possible they should play should now be awarded to the stronger team what this simply means is if we assume the stronger team is going to score more than the um, the weak team or the underdog all right so if we assume that we're going to add this to what come over here back here to how many goals each team will score now going to add 9.5 to 10.5 so that's going to give us 9.5 plus 10.5 that's going to give us 20 so we now have it at the back of our mind that the the favorite team is going to score 20 points which is 19.5 if we come over here favorite team once again is happens to be the away team because of the odds as you can see so we scroll down here and we pick 
19.5 is that okay but depends on you as you can see right here there are even smaller lines like 16.5 17.5 18.5 and this is what we're looking for 19.5 all right so that is that now take put in mind that this is not what this is not where it stops okay now let's just take it a little bit further what you can do next is how you can easily ask yourself what about if i want to play for the weak team or the the underdog it's simple i always suggest that you should play for the stronger team or the favorite team you should play the overs for the favorite team because the the underdog may disappoint you entirely like entirely i don't know if you've seen quarters where the underdog score eight nine points so i always suggest you play for the stronger team that side like, then you may not ask what about if the stronger team decides to be funny and the underdog plays better than the favorites all right it happens a lot so that's why i say in this very case i always suggest if you have the hunch that this is going to happen because it happens once you're checking your statistics all right it happens you get to find out that the underdog may likely be an upset to the favorite so what you simply do is take instead of going ahead to play overs for the for the stronger team or the favorite what you simply do you go ahead to the total right here so you know that whatever happens even if the underdog decides to score more than the the favorite they are definitely going to score a lot of points you, you understand that like the 10.5 the we're talking about maybe in this case the, the favorite is not going to be the one to score those low low odds why the higher odds are not going to be scored by the underdog who actually turned the result around in this case instead of going for it because you don't know you just simply go ahead and play total so whatever happens is going to total up to this number so how are you going to feel comf comfortable in picking a total it's very simple now that we already know that we have let's co just come over here we already have 20 which is 19.5 or whatever you want to call it so we have 20 on ground so what we simply do is come back again to this how many goes with each team score which is the lowest amount of points which is 10.5 you come back and add it one more time to 20 so that's um sorry 10.5 all right so we have 30.5 minimum we should actually back and if we come over here all right no 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 this is in cases yeah yeah you take this straight this is in cases where you feel there is this flexibility i just realized i don't add this same number to it I actually come over and add the other one like the the team the the weak team that's team one in this case their smallest number which in this case is 12.5 my bad i actually messed that one up so it's supposed to be 20 plus 12.5 all right so please follow me on that one i actually skipped me a bit so that's going to be 30, 32.5 so we are looking at the minimum over we should back is 32.5 so if we come over here now we pick now we can see we have 30.5 as the as, as the minimum as the minimum for this the minimum odds available so if you want you can actually pick that then what we actually calculated was 32.5 okay so if you want to back this that's fine but the odds for this is super super low so you want to put that in mind sometimes you may do your calculations and you're going to get even a bigger number in this range all right so it all depends on what you see but in this very case that is closer down here so i'll suggest you go with this or you go ahead and play under now watch we're still going somewhere right now put in mind that i mentioned the word unders unders not over just i mentioned that i don't want you to worry about it but you're going to discover if we're going to play unders or overs but right now we have actually done for the first quarter now we got 32.5 all right put that in mind if we come over here we assuming in this very case that each half is going to be 32.5 all right so each half is going to be 22 32.5 we we'll go ahead and multiply this is that's a half each quarter okay we we'll go ahead and multiply this by four because we have four quarters all right so say four times four we are going to get 130 so we have 130 as our total coming out of this game so what we simply do is come over to the total for this very game right here 
let's see what they we, where we can find 130 as we can see right here the minimum odds for total given here is 140 are we together so we're giving 140 as against 130 that we actually did a rough uh, calculation and hack to discover so there are cases where what is given here is very close to what we have and this case is, is a very free game for us now put in mind this now you've gotten to this point huh? i hope you're taking notes and you're following gradually i don't want you to get complicated or you click out of the video because you feel you're confused all right so you've gotten to this point this far so we have 130 versus 140 what i would do i do recommend to people is add 10 or subtract 10 in cases which is very rare because we worked with the minimum or the smallest odds available uh, the smallest odds available and the numbers we may not necessarily have to take away 10 so most times we have to add an extra 10 points so if we add extra 10 points to our 30 or our 130 we get 140 but we're not going to jump into adding any 10 yet you know what we're going to do next we're just going to use any of our favorite apps like this one right here flash score let me just come all the way here to so flash score this one this app here is flash you can go ahead and search that on google play or ios you can get the app on each whichever store that you choose now using this app what you look out for once you come over here is put in mind these two teams have head to head down here but the first thing you want to consider is their recent games have they actually hit 130 more often or 140 more often when you check these numbers against what they've what they've gotten to most likely or then from here you can discover what they can most likely get and when you check how close their recent scores are to these numbers and are they the ones scoring more you understand so if you check all these factors right here on this app so when you check all this you go ahead and check now then you go ahead and check their recent head to head like something like this 2022 2021 i don't even suggest you look at it at all because 2022 can be um uh, last december all right so i just assume 2022 is even recent ordinarily we are in 2023 getting close to march so taking anything from here at all is practically not worth it all right put that at the back of your mind you want to focus on recent head-to-head -head when you're doing your analysis all right so that said now if you look at the the most recent head-to-head -head i can see here is 50 54 plus 71 which is going to give us 125 as you can see that is very very close to our 130 so are you seeing the signal now so when you have a signal like this it's telling you when you have the number so close to it it's telling you that an over is very very rare you may not even get an over at all are you understanding it now look at the reverse case when you are getting figures way higher way higher because the one the, the the analysis i did before this very game because i played that one before this very game the it was from the um philippines cup where they scored a lot of points all right i saw points getting way ahead of what we did on the bookie so this kind of options with playing over there's very huge chance it's going to play but in this very case where i saw this right here let me just push this out of the way where i saw this all right this 125 and if we come up here let's take a look at the recent games we have right here we have 132 here which is even very close to 130 see how close these numbers are please stay away from overs in this game stay away from overs guys stay away from overs now this is for the um yeah this is for the home team all right so we have this one 166 okay we take that in and then the, the team the the home team actually scored 80 points it's not even winning the game all right so this one again this is 126 this right here is one um let's see this 153 153 and then this is 146 including overtime all right so this game is going to be good for unders all right guys we've gone very far and i hope you understand where this is coming from okay don't forget the, the this favorite team is the away team
okay so if we come over here and check on how the away team has been performing so we can see right here whoa this is 182 what this is way more than 180 this is what did i even say <laughs> excuse me this is 191 yeah this is 191 this is huge points second game is 160 171 wow these are big numbers and the third game we have here is um okay the third game right here is one this one i don't know it's having this mass thing is so difficult okay and then we have this one too it's crazy these are crazy huge numbers and it happens that the away team is the team winning most of the games right here and the one he lost is scored 83 points if we bear in mind that the away team is going to score at least at least 80 points all right and then the home team is going to score from what i saw here at least 65 okay so a total of that is going to give us 145 right so if we come over to our bookmakers if we come over to our bookmakers and say we want to play under you can go ahead and look for it's not 145 that we did you can go ahead and look if we can find whoa 145 is even way 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 up here it's way up here 145 is big odds we don't even want to take that we want to go for lower lines so we keep going and then let's just look at 160 whoa i tell you for free i think this is a good game for us to pick Personally, I feel this is a good game for us to pick at under 160. But bearing in mind that over time may happen. In a game like this where there's a huge favorite over time, what? Don't trust basketball saying this team is huge favorite. Basketball is the, is, is the games that turn it around the most in this life. So what I suggest you do, instead of playing full-time 160.5, just come over to halftime. Uh, let me just push that out of the way come over to half time since half of 160 is 80 so we'll come over here and just come and pick 80 let's see yeah we have 80 so we have 80.5 very similar odds and we're good to go okay guys this is incredible all right i i when i was talking two points i wanted to mention to you came to my head so let me just mention them to you now see this trick i'm showing you Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't even know it or they don't even do it. So I want you to go ahead and appreciate my, you know, my input into this old betting thing that you've been doing and you're getting better with it. Yes. Before I say what I want to say, um, I want you to take note that there are some basketball games or some basketball leagues that play 12 minutes per quarter while there are some that play 10 minutes per quarter. Bear in mind that this actually influences their huge scoring ability. Like for leagues that play 12 minutes, they score more points than leagues that play 10 minutes. So don't be surprised when you're doing your analysis, you're seeing 190, 190s, 120s, or 200 points if you're taking totals. These are because these leagues, they play 12 minutes. Then there are some leagues that play 10 minutes, you see some 60s, 60 points, and then some some 70s and 80 points this is how we use you no know, leagues that play 10 minutes and then lastly leagues that um, um ncca they do half instead of quarters they just do half first half and second half that's just it they don't do quarters mm -hmm. all right that's ncca I, i've forgotten that that's national uh, national college uh, association whatever it's called all right so that's that then another thing is what was that i was going to say okay yeah i saw a video online that said um you should use many websites when you're doing your predictions don't stick around to one website that way you're going to get better guys don't ever do that like you know now there are some things you tell somebody the person will listen to you there are some things you tell somebody the person just know that man this doesn't make sense if i tell you to use website a to check for, for 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 predictions and use website b or use app a or use app b please don't even do that at all the reason why you have multiple sources out there or multiple reviews on this channel is because i want you to look at each of them and see which one is much more flexible and convenient for you to use all right so if you are okay with basketball you stick with basketball if you're okay with football you stick with football if you're okay with bet mines stick with bet mines if you're okay with soccer predictions if you're okay with nba whatever it is that you're okay with stick with it 
all right you don't have to just combine everything you your head is your head is not a market all right it's going to mess up your brain i'm telling you your brain is going to be messed up and you're not going to like it at all at the end of the day you're not going to achieve anything so stick with one so try out each ever one that you lay your hands on and then decide which one is much convenient for you you can stick to one and stop trying out other ones that is not a good idea for someone who wants to learn though you want to keep checking out other ones and see if it's better than what you have but not combine them every time that's not what i actually recommend so please i I needed to actually say that to you so that you guys put that in mind now the last thing i wanted to recommend to you again is this right here how many goals with each team score now if you want to maybe gather up two odds or three odds or for quick play i suggest you just come here without doing analysis i'm not recommending i'm suggesting okay so if you feel lazy just come to this very option it's quite um it's quite easy just come and pick this maybe a couple of them and you're good to go you understand this is for half right now you're good to go just pick a couple of them 1.14 1.12 1.19 you're good to go all right so guys um another thing one last is that that's all that's all let's just come over here and then let's talk because i wanted to say something before we continue the video now we are at number four all right so if you want me to finish up to number seven and do because we have three more to go and the football overs and basketball handicap something that you really 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 going to love there are some tips I wanted to share because this video is all about tips that you're going to use to win more if you want me to complete them just give this video a like i want to see 50 likes in 24 hours if i see 50 likes in 24 hours i'm going to do it but if i don't trust me i'm not going to do it so if you're watching this video up to this point go ahead and like the video because you want me to continue and I trust you really want me to continue for watching it this far all right so that about it it's not it's not really easy putting all this together i really appreciate you sticking around Please no complain. Say I do the talk. Oh, am I? That's why I be teacher. I like to teach. I feel spend my whole day teaching. Okay. If nobody say things, the whole person these days. Eh? <laughs> How is this translator going to work? So I have to switch back to good English so that this translate out. All right. That this um, uh, subtitle thing is gonna work. Okay. So, all right, guys. It's really, really a pleasure having to show you some tricks and tips. See you on the next video, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. And give me a like, give me a comment, anything. It's a pleasure always being here with you guys. See you on the next one, guys. Peace, one love. No, not that one. This one. Let's.